Sure. Um, so, so every year, uh, it's kind of a however much capacity we put at Gross Memorial Coliseum, the, the people use it. So it's a, it's a law of diminishing returns. Uh, we have a cell site that's located very close on the college. Uh, number of things challenging about the way Gross Memorial Coliseum works. It's a metal building, so RF does not go in it very well. And then the solutions that we had in there previously just did not support the new 4G technology. Uh, so we began looking for, for ways to get enough capacity for our users to be able to have high speed data while sitting at, at an event. Uh, wrestling tournaments are particularly troublesome. Lots of people, lots of uh, stationary users, uh, a ton of, of, of data. So we heard a lot of complaints about the most recent wrestling tournament and started looking at ways to improve our LTE throughput and improve the capacity that we had available in that facility. Um, this kind of led to uh, several different potential approaches, you know, one of which being how do we get the coverage that's outside, which is fine, inside, or do we create coverage inside that doesn't use the outside macro? And um, through looking around, we'd already had a, a relationship with Ervana based on a 3G Femto project that we had just finished. And so started talking to them about some of the issues that we'd seen, and uh, they were able to, to tell us about a, a project that they'd kind of pioneered, a new product that they were launching that, that fit this space uh, uniquely and would be a good fit for it. This is the, uh, the first, uh, and I won't steal Dan's thunder too much, but this is the first commercial launch of, of what they call a, a CRAN, um, I, did I get that right? CloudRAN uh, solution, which is a, a distributed RAN architecture. If you, to, to, to uh, s summarize it, take a, take a big base station that normally the antennas are you know, up high on a tower and, and take that whole capacity of that base station and spread it throughout um, a, a facility like Gross Memorial Coliseum or, or another indoor facility like that. And uh, it's pretty, pretty exciting technology. Uh, the, 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 big, the big problem previously with using a solution like this for indoor coverage is everywhere you have a, a location, you have to hand off between them. So even on our cell sites, the three unique sectors, there's handoffs between them. The, the groundbreaking part of, of this cloud RAN technology is that it is essentially one sector. As you move through the building and between access points, uh, there is no handoffs between them. So it all kind of functions as one unique base station. We had a previous relationship with our 3G product, kind of focused in on the consumer space, how to optimize and improve services for their consumer customers. And when the problem Nathan presented related to gross was how do you take a solution, you know, a small cell solution and address that kind of need. So as he described this cloud ran idea, which he summarized perfect is taking the concept of a macro, which is a cell, a sector, provides coverage for that geographic area. How can you duplicate that indoors? So what we've created and kind of the product name that we've coined is One Cell, where we use a cloud RAN capability that does just that. The baseband controller provides that, you know, that, uh, that capacity source, that RF source, and then these radio points uh, are distributed throughout the venue. And uh, these can be distributed you know, strategically so that you place them in areas in a venue where you know you're going to have a high concentration of usage, like the entrances, like the concession area, like you know, around the seating uh, arena uh, stadium park, right? Where you know subscribers are going to be sitting using their devices, consuming data, but all in a way that optimizes that deployment so that it looks like one sector, one cell to ensure no handoffs, optimal throughput, you know, maximum performance. This particular venue type, a 6,000 seat arena that the Gross Coliseum presents is the first of uh, its kind for our product. So to have a, an, uh, to have a cloud RAN deployed in this kind of venue is the first that we've done and I believe the first probably done within North America. So this is a product solution that 
really is targeting you know, the large public venue space. Um, whether that the operator be a tier one or a tier two or whatever, you know, these public venue needs to support a high volume of users, consuming a high amount of data is everywhere. And the product solves that issue and that need. Uh, scalability and deployability. Um, the, these, a normal traditional DAS solution uh, would take probably six months to engineer, deploy, tune, test, and, and get fully up to speed. Uh, this solution we were able to bring on much quicker, and of course there's always a financial aspect of everything we do, right? Uh, the cost for the CRAN, uh, not only scalability and deployability, but the cost for the CRAN uh, was honestly about a third of, of what we would have seen in a traditional DAS deployment. So cost, speed to market, and deployability uh, were, were kind of the key things that, that led us this direction. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in, you know, as performance as well as how easy was this for the next tech wireless team to deploy. Uh, one of the claims that we make about our product is you know, take the concept and the ideas around deploying a Wi-Fi system um, because that's what we bring to the table. You know, we bring a solution, one cell, that is deployable like Wi-Fi. So if you understand Wi-Fi deployments and the mechanisms and installations and, you know, all those practices that are associated to deploying a, a Wi-Fi network, you'll know how to deploy one cell. And I think that's what's helped expedite the process you know, make it easier and also make it more cost efficient. The goal is to, to serve as much capacity as they need. So if, uh, if a customer never looks down at their phone and says, I'm trying to do this and I can't, then we've won. Um, as long as the, the end user is able to do what they need to do, then we've succeeded. There are a number of locations throughout our, our market that, that lend itself to this type of a solution, not just uh, sporting venues, which are very attractive because you have high volumes of users for very short times. Um, the other application that we can see for this is you know, other indoor coverage areas where we don't have so much a capacity issue, uh, but we just can't reach because they're in basements, they're in difficult building terrains, uh, hospitals, things like that have, have traditionally been a problem that we see this CRAN could be a, a, a real tool in our toolbox to overcome coverage issues inside difficult buildings previously to cover. I think one of the key things I'd like to point out is that, you know, this Cloud RAN technology is unique. Um, you know, what we were able to do by partnering with Next Tech Wireless was, you know, a couple of things. One was first validate the technology that we believe in works and fits venue needs for an operator. Um, you know, the partnership that I think we have with Next Tech Wireless was instrumental in making sure that was a success because it was a combination of, you know, working together. There was, I, I'd love to say it was, it's been perfect, you know, but there are bumps and hurdles to get over because it is something brand new. And really what's been able to happen here is you know, a supplier, Airvana, has been able to work with an operator, Next Tech Wireless, and solve a major problem in the industry. And, you know, this is, this is a springboard for um, Airvana as a company, but also just solving a problem for operators that are only going to increase. Uh, yeah. Data consumption, data usage from smartphones is not going to decline. It's only going to increase. And it's increasing indoors. It's, so, you know, the problem has to be solved. And uh, this is, you know, the right step to take in validating is the problem solved? And is this the right way to go? Sure.